remember that? Good afternoon, everyone. Uh, again, it's a wonderful Sunday, and uh, we're we're all here again to uh, uh, praise the Lord and uh, to provide a service for Him. And uh, I'm so glad that uh, we are all here. And it's really a blessing to see everyone. Um, this afternoon, uh, my title of the message that I'll be uh, sharing with you guys is uh, title is In Tough Times, Sailing Through the Storm of Life. So, uh, ito yung ating pag This is what we're going to study for this afternoon. And our text will be coming from uh, the book of Mark, chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. So, maybe I could ask uh, somebody... I could ask my son if you could read the words here. Uh, and can I ask everyone to stand up for giving the reverence of uh, giving of God's word? Uh, All right. Open your Bible to Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41. On the same day, when evening had come, he said to them, Let us cross over the other side. Now when they had left the multitude, they took him along in the boat as he had. And other little boats were also with him. And a great windstorm arose, and the waves beat into the boat so that it was already filling. But he has in the stern asleep on a pillow, and they awoke him and said to him, Teacher, do you, know, do you not hear that we are perishing? Then he arose and rebuked the wind and said to the sea, Peace be still. And the wind ceased and there was a great calm. But he said to them, Why are you so fearful? How is it that you have no faith? And they feared exceedingly and said to one another, Who can this be, that even the wind and the sea obey him? Let's remain standing. Let's come to the Lord in prayer. Our Heavenly Father God, again, we would like to thank you for this uh, wonderful afternoon, Lord God, that you have given to each and every one of us. Thank you, Lord, for the opportunity to uh, serve you and uh, to know you more, Lord God and to study your word. Lord, uh, we just pray that uh, as we listen to your word, you open our hearts, you open our mind, and uh, Lord, uh, prepare us to receive your message. Thank you, Lord God, because uh, we are free to study your word. And uh, we are so privileged, Lord God, that uh, you, are, you brought us here. Thank you, Lord God, for the presence of each and every one. And as we continue, Lord God, with our service, I pray, Lord God, that uh, you will be the one to deliver your message. Use me only, Lord God, to be your, your mouthpiece. Be the deliverer of your sermon, Lord God. Be the preacher and cover me and hide me in your cross. Use me only as a footstool, Lord God. May your word enlighten us, Lord God. We pray for a simple prayer and a simple preaching, Lord. And as, uh, as we continue, Lord God, uh, we pray that we will not leave this place empty handed but we will have all the blessings that come from this message. Yes. We thank you, Lord God, and uh, we commit to you the rest of the day. In Jesus' name. Amen. 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 So, I guess everyone is familiar with the verse that we have read. The story and uh, uh, the coming of the storm. Um, and the title natin is Sailing Through the Storm of Life. And I think it's very timely because, you know, uh, I think the other day there was a big storm in the Philippines and a lot of people is suffering. And uh, maybe we could, we could capitalize on that and understand the mga bagay uh, or the things that we, we, we can do, especially in times of tough times, sabi nga nila. In times of uh, problems, ano yung mga dapat natin gawin? And actually, this, this verse that we have read, uh, Mark chapter 4, verses 35 to 41, it has a parallel verse. 
in, in the other uh, two Gospels. So Matthew, if you would open your Bible in Matthew chapter 8, verses 23 to 26, this is how it said. Now when he got into a boat, his disciples followed him, and suddenly a great tempest arose, and the sea of that boat was covered with the waves. But he was asleep, then his disciples came to him and awoke him, saying, Lord, save us, we are perishing. But he said to them, Why are you fearful, O you of little faith? Then he arose and rebuked the wind of the sea, and there was a great calm. So the men marveled, saying, Who can this be, that even the winds and the sea obey him? So yung sinulat ni Mark, the one that Mark wrote, has also been reported by Matthew. And also at the same time, it was reported by Dr. Luke. Uh, in Luke chapter 22, verse 25, it's, it's basically the same thing. Sabi ganon, now it happened on a certain day that he got into a boat with his disciple and he said to them, let us cross over to the other side of the lake. And they launched out, but as they sailed, he fell asleep and a windstorm came down on the lake and they were filling with water and were in jeopardy. And they came to him, awoke him, saying, Master, Master, we are perishing. Then he arose and rebuked the wind and, re and the raging water, and they ceased, and they, there was a calm. But he said to them, Where is your faith? And they were afraid and marveled, saying to one another, Who can this be? For he commands even the wind and the water, and they obey him. So basically, what I'm trying to say here is that this incident was also been witnessed by the three disciples. Si Matthew, si Mark, and tsaka si Luke. Uh, 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 sa book ni John, we reported that he did not mention this incident. But the three uh, writers of the Gospel have mentioned this. Mark, Matthew, and Luke. And uh, let me go now to my introduction. Um, you know, uh, when, when we come to a point where we face some situation like this, yun ang yari, when, uh, when he met, you know, when, when they met the big storm, uh, nobody wants it, right? Uh, there are times that uh, people would, would came to that situation, but no one, uh, nobody would like to be in a place or situation where we do not know, diba? what to do or what's going around and probably say, yung bang, ito yung mga bagay na hindi natin gusto mangyari sa buhay natin. Uh, may, mga, may mga ilang bagay sa buhay natin na ayaw natin magpupunta doon sa sitwasyon na yan. There are, there are situations in life that we don't want to be on that, that spot. Sabi ko nga, nobody wants it. And I would assume that all of us would seek comfort or would seek peace rather than problem. Diba? Peace not problem. Ang gusto natin, peace, ayaw natin ng problema. We want calm. We want serenity. We want, you know, uh, uh, peace. Yung bang parang peace of mind. Ayaw natin ng chaos. We don't want chaos. We want order, right? We don't want problem. We want order and we want harmony. Ayaw natin ng magulo. Sino ba sa inyo ang gusto ng magulo? Taas ang kamay. Diba? Who wants problem? Nobody. Everybody wants peace. Diba? But why? You know, the question is, sometimes, and despite of our closeness to God, we still often get ourselves in situations we don't intend. Diba? Look at the disciples. When they, when they uh, went with the Lord in the boat, kasama na nila ang Lord, pero dumating pa rin yung point that they, they have to encounter the storm. So, what can we learn from here? What can we learn is, despite of our closeness of Panginoon, that doesn't accept us in getting into the storm of life. Do you agree with me? Diba? Kasi even mga disciples, kasama na nga nila ang Panginoon eh, pero they, have, they still encounter the situation. You know, as we read this chapter in verses 35 to 41 a while ago, we can see that this is the very same thing the disciple is facing in our topic today. 
you know, dumadating there's a situation that they don't want. You know, nobody wants it. Sabi ko kanina, every, even the disciple, I would assume, they would like to be at peace. You know, they, they just simply would like to sail dun sa, sa boat and then cross over and then that's it. They are not uh, anticipating or they are not expecting some issue. They follow the Lord, they go with Him, they are with Him, and they obey His instruction to cover, uh, to cross over, yet they still experience this issue. Nasubukan nyo na ba yun? Na minsan, Lord, sinunod ko naman yung gusto mo eh. I follow, you know, your instruction. But how come? Meron na, how come I still have this problem? Bakit dumadating pa rin ako sa situation na parang kulang pa rin? Sometimes ang bigat-bigat pa rin. Sumusunod naman ako sa inyo, Lord. Diba? Same thing with the disciples. You know, they follow what the Lord Jesus Christ have told them. Sabi na ang Panginoon sa kanil, the Lord Jesus Christ told them, let's cross over. Anong ginawa nila? Lord, huwag tayo tumawin. No? Dali-dali, you know, immediately, they they cross. They, they jump to the boat and they started uh, sailing. But again, you know, uh, it doesn't excuse them to experience that big storm. They know their ordinance, you know, to share the gospel on the other side. They know what to do. Uh, few back, I mean, uh, few days back, before they were called by the Lord Jesus, they were just ordinary men. Diba? Few days. Kung babasahin, if we're going to read this situation, or this chapter, you will read on the previous chapter, they are just ordinary men. Some of them are fishermen, some of them are traders, and uh, we know Matthew is just a tax collector. Diba? They were just chosen as apostles in the same boat, and trusting their life to the Lord. So dumating sila sa situation na they have been called, and now they are, they are on this situation that uh, they are facing a big storm. But even then, they were not excused or accepted. Even themselves experienced this great storm in life. Sabi ko kanina, even the disciples who've been called, nakaka-experience din pala sila ng storm. Sino sa atin ang hindi nakaka-experience ng storm? I mean, the storm that we, that, that we are talking here is the actual storm. But uh, spiritually, we could face you know, the, the spiritual storm in our life. Yung mga nangyayari, uh, chaotic things sa buhay natin. So the big question is, uh, what is the purpose? Why do we have to uh, face this big storm despite of our obedience and being close to the Lord? Uh, is this some sort of an unwanted thing? Ito ba yung mga bagay na ayaw natin? Is God expecting something from us as we face this storm in our life? Are there are this some sort of a test? Sabi nga, if God not really concerned about the things that happening around us, then bakit, bakit sinabi ng mga disciple, Master, carest thou not that we perish? Is this storm a natural thing? And the question is, is God really concerned? Kasi di ba tinawag siya ng mga disciples, sabi niya, hindi ka ba, sabi niya ganun, are you not caring about us? Don't you know that we are perishing? Mm -hmm. So, just, uh, sabi ko nga kanina, nobody wants it. We want peace, not problem. And we know the reason why we are facing the storm, right? And uh, just like us, we are ordinary people. But uh, even the disciples themselves, who are at first ordinary, who become a disciple, also encounter the, the storm in their life, despite they are obeyed the Lord Jesus Christ. So the big question is, what's the purpose? Ano ba ang purpose? Bakit kinailangan na daanan nila? Why do they have to sail this hardship or in tough times like this? Uh, the title is In Tough Times Sailing to a Storm of Life. Before I proceed, I would like to show you some clips. I, I guess, yeah. Uh, that I would like you to watch. Can you, yeah, can we close the window and uh, let me open it for a minute. 